Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben Bonk and welcome back to the 10th Slime Keep devlog. So it's been a while since the last Slime Keep devlog, mainly due to the Brackies game jam, but I just really want to get a devlog out for you guys, so this video may be a little shorter than other devlogs, just because I only had a few days to work. I'm also hoping to do procedural generation in the next video, and I realized that could take a while, so I didn't want to try to jam everything in one video that would take weeks to make. So without further ado, let's get into the video. My main goal for this video was to tackle the issue of the capture gun and balance it in some way. Pretty much as of now, the player could instantly capture slimes and one-shot them, making every other gun useless. There were a ton of ways I could go about balancing this, and I ended up sharing a bunch of ideas to my Discord server for some feedback. After a lot of conversation and many scrapped ideas, I decided on an idea for a battery system. The plan was to have the capture gun use a special type of ammo which was a battery, and whenever holding on the capture gun, it'll drain battery and the only way to get more battery is either by purchasing it in the shop or getting it from killing slimes and have them drop it. And this system would be kind of similar to the ammo system in Enter the Gungeon where there is a half battery and a full battery drop. So the first thing I wanted to do was make some art for this battery and Toasted Toast made some concept art for the battery, I ended up modifying this to make the full and half batteries. Next up, I started working on the code for the capture gun battery system. It wasn't that difficult, all I really had to say was whenever I'm holding down the mouse button, it just decrease a value. And after about maybe an hours of work, you can see now I had it so my battery system was in the debugs, and whenever I hold down the capture gun, it will actually decrease this value. And then also if I run out of this value, the capture gun will retract and I cannot hold it down again. Now that I have this value system working on the hood, I needed a way to represent it to the player. And this was quite a challenge because right now to display bullets I have an array of images. But I can't use this array of images to display the values of beam weapons because, well, that just won't work. So I'd find a way to create a whole new UI system for the capture gun and other beam weapons that I will make in the future. I originally thought this wasn't going to be that difficult and wouldn't take me too long to figure out, but I was completely wrong and I spent so many hours going through many different solutions and many different iterations of the UI system. The first thing I realized I had to do was turn that float into an integer so I could use it for ammo and other things, and so it would actually be a whole number. So I just simply cast this, now you can see that all my ammo values are now an int. Then it was much easier to display this integer value and in bullets for the UI. So now you can see I have my UI and it ticks down perfectly. And it's just a nice integer and a nice round number. That was the easy part. And now came the tricky part, displaying this in a bar. My original plan was to scale up this bar in one direction and somehow calculate how much max ammo you have and how much ammo you have left and display this through the bar. But as you can see, this did not turn out to be the best solution. After many wasted hours and tons of problems, I decided to scrap the system completely and I was just completely lost on what to do. Then I had an idea, and it was to use Unity's slider system to display the ammo for beam weapons. And this was a really good solution, because most of the complex work I would have had to do was done for me. I could simply set my capture gun's ammo to the value of the slider, and the max capture gun ammo to the slider's max value. Then Unity would just do the rest of the work for me. So after setting some things up, I had a really basic UI system for the capture gun set up, and it was actually really easy to do this with sliders. Then I wanted to start working on some art for the battery bar, so I hopped into a sprite, and after many different versions and setting things up, I had this. It was a bit of pain to change the art for the slider and just getting everything looking right, but I'm still pretty happy with the results, so let me know what you guys think. The next thing I started working on was fixing the art for the capture gun, because right now the art for the capture gun was just temporary and it looked really really ugly and so I just wanted to get something nice in place. This took a million different versions and so much time to get right. Originally I used background art with some particles, but that didn't look right so I scrapped it. Then after many more changes and pieces of feedback from my Discord server, I ended up removing the background completely to only use particles, and I definitely think this was the right choice. And while messing around with Unity's particle system, I found some pretty cool settings that I never knew about. So I used a bunch of these settings and multiple particle systems to come up with this, and I think it looks really cool and I'm really happy with the result. I probably could make a few more changes, make it look a little better, but I think it's such an improvement and I'm really really happy with how it turned out. Back to the battery system, I now needed a way to get the battery back. So I started working on battery pickups, and the concept is pretty simple. Just check if the player walks over the pickup, and if the pickup is a full battery, set the weapon's ammo to the max weapon ammo. If it is a half battery, set the ammo to the max ammo divided by 2. And also make sure that that value won't be greater than the max ammo. So now you can see we have pickups for the full and half battery, but also make sure that the half battery does not overflow. It's a pretty cool concept, and yeah. Now I need to get these batteries working in the shop, and it's the exact same code as the pickups, just in a bit of a different state and the shop, 
So I had to make some upgrades for this. It wasn't too difficult, just very repetitive. But yeah, now I had upgrades in the shop and you could also buy full and half batteries from the shopkeeper. Then I made some really big changes to the shop. I made the meditator guy now sell upgrades. And I made the shopkeeper now sell guns. A ton of people were requesting this and I often think it feels much more natural. And I also made this extra shelf space because I couldn't fit three guns on the shopkeeper's table. And I thought I could also use this place to sell something else, maybe a gun, maybe something special. And the final thing I did in this dev vlog was reanimate the slime pets move animation because it wasn't feeling too natural. It felt like it was just bobbing up and down instead of sliding on the ground. And now it looks like this, and I don't know if it's perfect. I think it's an improvement, but it might need some more tweaks to get it looking right. But still, I think it's an improvement. And before I end this devlog, I'd like to congratulate this devlog's Slime Keep Art winners. The first piece of art we have is a Slime King by Aphelie. I love the kind of animation on this guy, and I also love his crown especially. He looks super cool, so thank you Aphelie. Next up, we have this kind of slime robot by Onsku. I think this one looks absolutely amazing. All the details on it are just incredible. So thanks Onsku. And finally, we have this kind of slime mech by Wheatley5555. I think it looks really, really cool. I love the antenna on it, and I could really see this as a Boston slime keep, so thanks Wheatley. Well, that's all to say for this devlog. Start off this one was a little shorter than most devlogs, but hopefully I can get a juicy devlog for you guys in the next one. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like or drop me a sub. That'd be very much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.